History is filled with seemingly odd quirks that on the surface don't make much sense. A prime example is how table tennis became the icebreaker that altered the course of China-U.S. relations in the 20th century. In 1971, the U.S. table tennis team received an official invitation to visit China and play exhibition matches against the Chinese team. The team was the first delegation of Americans to visit China in decades. Their trip was the start of what became known as ping pong diplomacy, which helped lay the groundwork for establishing official diplomatic relations between the two countries. Now, 53 years later, a group of 12 students from the University of Virginia are taking a turn at ping pong diplomacy. I'm on my way to join them in Beijing. Beijing is their second stop in China after Hong Kong, the same itinerary the U.S. team had way back in 1971. While it's chilly outdoors, there's a heated match inside the arena. I feel that the table tennis players in China have a different play style, and their balls are more spinny, whereas the U.S. focus on more power-based play. This exceeded my expectations. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect, but just coming into the stadium with, what, 5,000 seats is, is amazing. We actually strategized, and he was like, my partner was really hardworking and like thinking about new strategies, and he even thought, taught me his new signals to like do under the table. I was struggling a little bit. I kept hitting the ball over the table, and she showed me like the proper way to hit it, like facing downwards. As each UV student was paired with a student from Tsinghua University, they chatted with their partner about school and life in their home country. One of the restaurants, Heidi Lao, she was talking about the differences between the United States menu and the Chinese menu, and I thought, and I thought that was pretty interesting. Oh, now it's a good and then we got um, ITTF balls, <laughs> and then we got um, a case which comes with a, a paddle. So we're going to um, let our Tsinghua Kaoyo sign this. I'm back in Shanghai as the tour continues at International Table Tennis Federation Museum and China Table Tennis Museum. Some participants from the original tour are here sharing their stories.